<laughs> Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. I am here today joined by the marvellous number one Hoover salesperson in London, Rolish Weirdo. My name is Saki Waki. Ooh, and how better to segue into extreme couponing than by Hoover sales. So my lovelies, you have asked for it and I have decided to, to not do it. We're, to not do it. Do it. Yeah, we're changing rooms, girl. I've got gout. So I haven't ever seen a I, complete episode. No. Never. I don't think we had an English version, did we? Um, it was all American. Yeah, I think it is. Because in, in the UK, you can't use like more than one voucher no, in a yeah, shop. They're yeah. like, no. No. Voucher is also a coupon, if you mm. don't know. Schwatly, eh? From what I know from like the clips that I've seen, it's literally just like families make this full time empire out of like cutting out coupons and using them at like Walmart and it's, it's Trader Joe's a place. And Trader Target Joe's, yeah, and Target, Target Costco. And Costco girls. We're going to be watching the first ever episode of the first ever season. I think it's like 2007. <laughs> It was actually 2010. I think it's oh, okay. So it's not that old it's compared not, to other no. stuff you've seen. Yeah, it's no Trini and Susanna from 2002. Yeah. Daytime tweed evening. <laughs> Today is not the swan unless no. you've got a coupon for a brow lift, Ooh. maybe. So without any further ado, let's watch Extreme Couponing Girls. <gasps> Disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Massive halls. I think ah! we should clear the shelf. Unbelievable home stockpiles. How are you not? I get a look at. I want to go to bed every night. All gotten for bargains you won't believe. These are always absolutely free. Welcome to the world. Free? This is this hoarding. Is, that was that was very like COVID times. It was like I must get I'm all of it by myself. Yes. Why was that woman buying like fourteen thousand bottles of mustard? Why did you need that much mustard? Isn't it all going to go off before you can use it? Surely it would do. Preserved for eighteen years, just like Nelly Galan. Why aren't you making it to the package? Extreme couponing. Total savings were five hundred thirty dollars. That's ninety-eight percent of your order. In the next oh, half look hour, at the slut in heels. Sorry, five hundred. This, this woman, ninety-eight percent of her bill came off. How you could not do this in the UK? You would you not are know. not allowed to walk out of a place. Like we're allowed like one percent at Christmas. Yeah. Like ne like no. Are you even allowed to like clear a shelf of something in the UK if there's like an actual no? So full when, shelf? when I when I worked in the supermarket, I worked there for ten years. Um, if there was any like a product that was like on sale or, or there was coupons out for it, you were only allowed to have like one or two boxes per yeah. customer. Especially if it was like a high desired item, there was always restrictions to how many you could buy. So you could never do this. That's wild, isn't it? Oh, it's another bit of culture that like I just don't it's don't shocking. expect. Yeah. The country's most coupon obsessed. My eleventh commandment is thou shalt not pay retail. I have coupons for these. <laughs> but do you Oh, Jesus is very happy with that. Yes, thou shalt not pay retail. <laughs> that was the missing 10th commandment. Yeah, literally, that was a sound bite, wasn't it? I, I guess this is like of the time, but everyone has the Karen haircut. They, everyone's got Karen haircuts. Everyone's yes. got a bump hit and the Karen hairspray girls. I think the 40 boxes we have at home is enough. They'll do anything for a deal. I've asked the manager for a alphabetical listing of every item that this store carries and the corresponding aisle. Does this woman not have like anything else to do? <laughs> like, yeah, I'd like she, this. Okay, whatever she's doing, she needs to start a business in whatever because she's clearly got the mindset to be like, I need you to do an Excel spreadsheet to know the layout of your. The thing store. is, the thing is, I'm sure we'll get into it, but like, no one needs this much stuff. It's so bit, it, it makes it does make you feel like a bit hoardery. Like it you, makes me feel a little bit like oh, and just no one, there's no one like around them being like you don't need all. Do you need of a forty fourth box of dishwasher tablets? Like, like do you really, sis? Like I get, I get when things when things are on offer, I will end up buying maybe two of them just so like my, my face wash for example. Oh yeah, it was, I'll buy for because it's like it's normally quite expensive. But like you imagine ne buying eighteen crates of face wash. Like you don't like by the time that you would get to the end of your eighteenth. In that time, they would have gone on sale again. Exactly. You don't need to stockpile 18 things and so no one else can get them. Exactly. I completely agree. From their secret strategies that help them dwindle down $1,000 grocery bills to nearly nothing. I always check their coupon policies because you might not realize that there's been a policy change. To the most dramatic checkouts you've ever seen. Oh. Almost $1,200. That amount is not in my wallet today. Oh, she's uh, got oh, an oh, attitude, oh, girl. Uh, you've got some money on you, right? Oh. These are the shopping trips you have to see to believe. These are the extreme clapping? couponers. This is very Ooh, strange. Oh, Snushed and Ripper Dove. Oh, is this the intro? Oh, also, oh, I love that. What was that? Like, you're a steak girl. Uh, 
done. Good heavens. What an odd thing to make a TV show about. Literally. So now all of a sudden, all these shops are going to have me like raided with yeah. like coupons. People being like, like, oh, God, we can coupons. do it. Yes. I bet you also, if they've ever been to like small shops, they're now like, we don't accept coupons yeah. anymore. Because yeah. you're, you've all gone mad with it, girls. Maybe this is actually a thing, though, that they've like made it so they uh, they spread this like information that you can do all this. So suddenly these one people who are in this show who is doing so much yeah. suddenly can't do it because suddenly every the single person is trying to go. Just almost like a, a fob off. Like, a fob off? A fob. So it's like, because then most people who get coupons, about half of them don't even get used. So yeah. actually, this might actually aid them in getting like less coupons used in the future. Quite possibly. Oh. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. Oh, she's got a degree. I am actually quite shocked that in America, this is something that really surprised me that I've, I've heard from people, is that you guys don't include tax in your purchasing number. So when you look at how much something is on the shelf, that's not actually how much it costs, the, which is wild to me. When, so I've been to LA and New York, twice to LA and once to New York, and every time I keep forgetting this, any times I've bought anything, I've always been like, what? It didn't cost this so much, much more, more of a sudden. Yeah, it's weird that they don't add the tax on. Very strange, because here, if you go shopping anywhere in our, in the UK, you pay, like, if it's one pound, you pay that pound. That's yeah. it, that's how much it costs. This is the money that I shop <gasps> with right here. I don't need my wallet, I need these. No, but you buy all these, surely? Almost 90% of all coupons are distributed through newspaper inserts. So for the coupon obsessed, collecting these bundles of bargains can be a religious experience. Oh, oh did they need the mute? Hallelujah, hallelujah girls. Holy Bibles. Why is she wearing a belt over my a cotton? My name's Jimmy, and I'm known as the diva for coupons. The I have diva for coupons. 100% of what I do, my time, my talent. Look at oh, her behind her. That's not gonna last. Stop. Her shower is filled with bounty. You see, when you, when you start filling up things like your shower that you're hoarding, yeah, this just this goes into hoarder territory, yeah. doesn't it? This isn't just I'm excited for a sale. It's like I'm excited for the oh, sale. Well, it feel, I feel like does she need everything? She's like, is she buying things for the sake of buying it? Like, does she actually need this specific thing? She might get like a coupon for I don't know, like male pa panty liners. I don't yeah, know, male and, panty and liners. And yeah, <laughs> and she. And she <laughs> and I meant like I want them. Like, I want them. Like she, I bet she's buying so much stuff as well that she would actually never normally buy. Yeah, she's buying it that. just for the sake of it. But. TLC is very like this, isn't it? TLC's like, my strange addiction, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very like, look at these strange people. I'll shower. In here I have 450 rolls of toilet paper and 250 rolls of paper towels. Why? Who needs TL, bring me a roll. We've got you covered. Oh, I do my love that. My 11th commandment is thou shalt not pay brow. retail. It's not necessary with the use of coupons. To live by this gold. But like, okay, so they said that it was from newspaper inserts. Are you buying the newspapers? I'm assuming and she's buying she had, all of these newspapers, if yeah. If she had all of them, I mean like, there are some newspapers in the UK that are free, but they aren't filled with vouchers, let me yeah. tell you that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so weird that there's so many, because like, surely she would have to spend the time finding those, See, buying them, cutting them out. Like, that's a full-time job See, in itself. My issue sometimes with this, I get that not everyone has money and stuff, and like yeah. it is, but, but like, what she's doing to me just feels really selfish. Yeah, because like, somebody take, else could use those. Like, taking all of those papers and all of those coupons out that actually someone who is really struggling to, like, feed their family could use. I get a bit kind of, I don't know, it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Because like, I didn't weird. come from money, and, like, my mum and my grandparents and stuff, like, sometimes would use coupons for Absolutely. things. Absolutely. But, like, the idea that this, like, like, you know, I know the UK is different because it's limited, but, like, the amount this woman's got, it's like... It she would see greedy. someone going like, I could really use this. And she's like, no, all these papers are mine. Yeah. Oh, they need to go in my shower at home. Like it just, I don't know. Yeah. I need the 48th box it, of finish. It feels very greedy and selfish. And I, I hate selfish people. In a way, I bet the companies that are selling all this stuff or like allowing it for vouchers or whatever, think of it as like wonderful publicity. Mm. Mm. rule, mother of three, Jamie Curlew, has to keep about a thousand coupon inserts valued at almost $40,000 on hand at all times. <laughs> oh my when... God. Coupons coupons the newspapers. There are leftovers. I want one for FFS immediately. <laughs> 40 grand in coupons. Could you imagine being like, this is my friend Jamie. Don't ask about coupons. No. <laughs> 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 you just go to, you go to your doctor and here's a piece of paper. And you just like hit them for like an hour, like handing us like 20p every single time for FFS. Yeah, like, yeah, literally. <laughs> be like, oh, and a two for one. Yeah, yeah. on brow lifts. They would just ordinarily dump at the recycling plant. Instead, they bring it to me. We're now headed into my grocery store. Come on in. 
The compulsive coupon collecting has allowed her to build a stockpile that includes 60 boxes of cereal, 70 bottles of laundry detergent, it's gonna go on. 100 containers of cleaning wipes, and Okay, so for wipes and soap and things like that, I sort of don't mind the idea of like buying a crate because you're always going to use it. But to get something like 60 boxes of cereal, it's yeah. going to go off yeah, before you gonna get through it. Like how much cereal are you eating? Because these people are going to be like, Oh, this is my stockpile. It's gonna be one of those, you know, where you have like fine china and people are like, you can't use the fine, it's for display purposes only. Yeah. It's gonna, I, I, I'm getting these vibes immediately of like, no, you can't have one of the boxes in the stockpile. Yeah, because everything is so like perfectly like lined Christine. up. And it's, it's like they're it, ornaments. Yeah, it feels a bit, yeah, it feels a bit like ornaments. It it's gonna be like, we still go shopping every week on top of the stock. Soaps. And I've got at least a hundred individual rolls here of paper towels. These <gasps> and are you got them in your always shower well. absolutely free. <laughs> Jamie began her extreme couponing just one year ago when her husband, Philip, the just family's primary breadwinner, lost his job. I think I... There's our answer. This is a trauma response. Yeah. This is not someone being like safe and healthy and thinking about themselves. This is something where they've experienced a sudden moment of like hardship and they've gone, oh my God, if this ever happens again, I've got a stockpile. Yeah. Which actually gives me context that I don't mind as much, but it, this is still over the top and greedy. If, the thing is, it feels like, like I, again, it's sad because he's always lost his job and the money's coming, but like to a stage where it's unhealthy. Uh, yeah, and it's yeah, not... yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoarding is not healthy. Cried for two straight days. It was really hard on me. I was really scared that I couldn't shop the way that I was used to shopping. Absolutely. That I wouldn't be able to go out with my girlfriends again because I wouldn't be able to afford it. Just mm -hmm. saying, hey, let's get together. Let's go have a glass of wine. I wouldn't be able to do that. And that's a legitimate concern. That is, I know that like being self-employed, I'm always like, if I don't do this, homeless immediately. Homeless. So I can understand the fear of like not having something because I've been there before and not had it. So I understand, but it still does feel a little bit... I don't know. The thing is, just look behind all those this, cereal boxes. It's... Like, it, it won't last that no, long. No, it's not. Like, going you'll just to. end up wasting it. And there's like, bo like, is that Pringles? There's like boxes and boxes of food that's going to go off. Yeah. Which is not healthy. Jamie was determined to maintain the lifestyle she and her family had become accustomed to. I had my aha moment, so to speak, that coupons were possible, and all I had to do was clip one and give it a try. These days, what? she spends up to Spreaking six hours drug. preparing yeah. for just one, <laughs> one of her four and give it a try. shopping trips. When I plan a shopping trip, it starts on the computer. I evaluate the websites. I print out the sales for that week. I link them up with the sales circulars that have come through my newspaper. I then compile. This woman needs to be in business because this is exactly the kind of person that could run her own business she's and like, be really she, successful. She's like, I don't know what to do. This is where, like, yeah. literally, you could quite easily start your own business. Like, you could start your own business and, and make more money than people. this as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could make more money than, than being an expert in coupons. It just goes to show you that, like, when family units go through something really drastic, people can be really affected by mm. it in ways that you wouldn't think. I bet this woman 20 years ago... Oh, wait... <laughs> 20, 10 years, a couple of years before this show, I wonder if she would have ever thought that she, this would be her life. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? File a list, put the coupons, everything is ready for my shopping trip, all in one location. You can't pay your rent with vouchers. You yeah, can't pay your I mortgage wanted, like, with vouchers. You... So I assume somehow they're making money to pay for things, right? They must do. Leaving any aspect of her shopping to chance is not an option. Down to knowing where every item is located at her favorite stores. It's an business alphabetical board. listing of every item that this store carries and 17 the bucks. aisle. This obsessive attention to detail is going to come in handy because today Jamie is taking on one of her largest shopping trips to date. Of course she is. With her list, her box of yeah, exactly. 500 coupons, and her store directory in hand, Jamie is almost ready. But not fun. before one important last step. I think it's important to be completely done and prepared before you go to the grocery She's going store. to battle. My image is... Very important to me. It's like an odd thing to add to the show. It does. About 15 people just like, I'll do my bloomers. I yeah. And I put on my PVC slap in my safe belt. She has a lot of money. But that Trini would be so happy with this. That's the case. That's totally fine because they're none the wiser. Jamie's no, financial situation may have drastically changed her shopping style, but the image conscious coupon Eva will not let it show. Her list of over 1,300 items could cost her puns they're doing. Like, yeah, they're really trying. Coupon queen and yeah. coupon blah de blah So with only about a hundred <laughs> spend, her <laughs> coupon plan needs to be flawless. Flawless Okay, coupon we're ready plan. now. Is that her we're husband? We're gonna have a big haul today. Back, I think it is. 
I've invited my husband to come along yeah. today with me on this extreme shopping trip because I think I'm going to need his help. Our plan today is to use this, all... Is there anyone else in the shop? They probably closed it Ooh, for this. They just probably... to be like, oh, the drama goes... So yeah. is this even real? I wonder if the producers are like, come on, shop owner, let's make it something for TV. And I'm just, sure like, some really of it probably it. is... Uh, pushed up, like yeah, played up drama. Yeah, for the drama girls, the ratings. All of the coupons that I have here in this box. How do you remember so, of this particular yeah. item? We're going to be getting twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Well, it looks like they only have seventeen. So How did twenty-seven yogurt? So this... Good heavens! Slide them over to customer service. You can ask them for a rain check. Rain checks are vouchers that extend the sale price on an item. Once you get the rain check, then you can always come back the following week and what? get the item. That is never, never happened You would here. never get that in the UK, ever. Because what, that's the whole, the whole point of these is to, like, until the stocks leave, yes. that's that go, yeah. that's all you can use. You can't yeah. then go pre-order next more stuff in to use your coupon. That's, that's wild. That's I've never in my life heard about extending so a sale. Now she's extending 27 of them. Yeah. <laughs> if... <laughs> So they have to order in an extra box just to give her for nothing. Like, if if when I was at Morrison's, if someone came up to me and had a coupon and was like, can I order 27, 27 of these yogurts. boxes of cereal or whatever because you've run out on the shelf, I'd be like, no, it's no, gone. America's wild. It is, isn't it? I, there's all these, like, little cultural differences that you just, I, as someone who doesn't live in America and has never gone, that is n completely unexpected mm -hmm. that you can go to a store clerk and be like, you don't have these in stock. I want them free next week. Yeah. Wild. That you didn't have when you're shopping. After Philip gets the rain check for the yogurt, Jamie sets her sights on mustard. Wait, sets her well, sights also, on also, mustard. Also, how is your fridge big enough to put all of those yogurts in? They're like a walk-in cold room. <laughs> Slaughterhouse, the abattoir girls. This is a prime item in any extreme coupon or stockpile. Since right. mustard doesn't spoil, it can be stored indefinitely. I <laughs> uh, mustard does spoil. Maybe it's once you open it, then it spoils. Maybe because it's been sealed. The air... But also, like, you don't need that much. How much mustard are you eating? Also, mustard isn't even very nice. No, it's just... <laughs> you could... If someone gave me 88 bottles of mustard, I'd be like, I'm going to have one Especially because it's not even, like, nice mustard. It's, like, that it's horrible, the, it's squirty... It's like, squirty, yeah. like, processed That's food. why it lasts forever, because it's literally it's just... Yeah. It's just pumped with shit. <laughs> it's plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Seven coupons. Which is quite a bit of mustard. The retail price of the mustard is $1.39. But since Jamie has oh, a 50 like cent coupon fish. that her store will double up to a dollar, she will only pay 39 cents per bottle. And then 12, should uh, we stop there? Uh, you have 55 to go. <gasps> you, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I don't care. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't care what you're doing or who, like, you don't need to buy that much mustard. Like, there's, this is something else happening. This, this is what you said. It's something like, else like, is going on. Like, you don't need. 55 bottles of mustard but it's gonna go on the shelf and be an ornament the thing is it's it's, it's not like it's something like you like say bread that you eat constantly all the time. yeah how often are you eating mustard yeah. like <laughs> literally like literally to, that is just gonna sit on your your shelf and just rot just. but also like because she is technically still paying 39 cents for every bottle so she is still spending her money and it's like yeah i suppose you're wasting like you're still wasting money a lot because of you, money on that. you just don't need that much mustard. Yeah, yeah a yeah. condiment like this is not so, like again salt you use all the yeah, time. Yeah, like pepper, but like mustard. Yeah, never. You could buy the mustard seeds and grow mustard. <laughs> yeah, more than more than doing all this. But we stop at forty. I think we should clear the shelf. All right. So now no one else now, so oh, now, no 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 else can have It's just selfish. No, take two more. Make it sixty-two. That'll be a neat mustard. <laughs> He doesn't even eat mustard. See, this, this is what I he said. He doesn't even eat mustard. Very, uh, one, I, said, I, said, I said, I bet there are things that she's buying for the sake of it, not because she actually wants it or yeah. needs it. And he's just said, I don't even eat mustard. And that's not money savvy to be like, we're going to spend some money on something I don't need. That's the thing, you're, now you're wasting money. Exactly. Now what? With four cards full and Philip heading off to work, Jamie is ready to check out. All right, Paige, I'm glad I was able to help you. Thank you. Good work. An eyeshadow touch up. Never catch okay, me. Okay, Jane, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This woman, this woman has to now be with this woman for six hours <laughs> on the bloody <laughs> checkout just to not make any money at all. Well, not that you check out people take the money. No, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going. The total is really high, but I haven't gotten over a thousand yet. I think when I Safe do, way. I might start to panic a little bit. <laughs> not in my wallet today. Coming up. Yeah. Oh, Jake. I've never gotten to an amount this high. My heart 
is racing. I've never felt like this at the register before. So she's not even like, she's done all of that planning and all of that work and she still doesn't actually know if she can get all this stuff. So and to me, that sounds a bit like she's chasing a high. If she's like, yeah, seems... kind of like a bit like shocked and like feeling all these emotions. I'm like, are you, are you, are you, are you chasing a high that's, of some that's, sort? That, that was a strange development. I was expecting her to be like, because she was so like, I know where everything is. Yeah. I, but to be like, to I, be don't know if I, like can... I don't know. Oh, what's gonna mm. happen to me? Coming up, girls, extreme. <laughs> I can't call it that. Right, here we go. All of the scissors. Mm. Ooh. At a supermarket just outside Washington, D.C., <gasps> extreme couponer Jamie Curlew is in the middle of purchasing four overflowing carts of products. How is that car? Oh, we get a full coupons, but only $100 in cash that she can spend. Okay. And the total keeps rising. Right. So the goal was to make $1,200 down to $100. And rising and rising and rising. I feel a little And they're still filling up the toilet. I hope her kids love mustard. Your new mustard diet, it begins now. Because Tyra will be thing, pleased. It actually makes me wonder what they're eating. Cereal and mustard. Like, that is disgusting. Because <laughs> all we've seen so far is like condiments and- Yogurt, cereal yogurt and mustard. Like, like what are you actually feeding your children? Literally, you can see it like light cream is, I guess that's cupcake, yep. sour cream, yogurt. Like what are you oh. actually eating? I'm high of a thousand dollars and starts to feel the pressure. Like my stomach hurts, oh my God. If you could just say, I'm not buying it, bye. Oh, almost $1,200. My heart is racing. I've never felt like this at the register before. I've never gotten to... No, none of us have, sis. None of us have been like panicked about a thousand pound bill or thousand dollar bill at a cash register before. Nobody has ever no felt this ever, way. No one has ever shopped that much to even panic that. Yeah, if, you, if you're gonna go and put like over a thousand dollars worth in your shopping cart, you'll know that you're gonna feel that so you won't be like panicked. But like, it's bizarre. I like the Elmo jumper. Oh, that is fun, isn't it? Countdown, girls. Register lockup won't let us get it. It did. At just over $1,200, the register jams. I can't continue. Because Jamie's purchases have exceeded the limit for a single transaction, wow. the cashier must manually enter enough coupons to bring the total down so the computer will unlock. Oh this allows God. the rest of the items to be scanned. Drama. And after some quick math, Jamie realizes just what her pre coupon total will be. The total that I noted was over $1,800. Any mistake in her planning could mean that she will have to spend more than the $100 limit she has set for herself. I think that's why I'm stressing out. Okay, now I've got to give all of these coupons. Look at that! How is this allowed? This it, is not I, allowed. Yeah, I don't feel like this should be I feel like this is potentially a little bit fake for girls. Yeah. my total is still going low, my heart is, is still racing. She must be getting some sort of a high out yeah, of this. Yeah, I can't imagine not. To give her to I just find it hard to believe. I just, I just, I just think it's wasteful. Like you don't, you just, need to be awesome. you just don't need that much stuff. You're like, you're just one family. One family. Like, how do you need? Like, what, what did she say? There's a husband and three children. Yeah. A thousand dollars. Eighteen hundred dollars. She's planned for this. That is a how lot. Much, like, this is the thing. You don't need that much. To, it, it just, I just. And it's all mustard. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs it. Like, you should check your email if you've got a got a coupon for delivery. We get yeah, eighty-eight sure. bottles of mustard yeah. delivered. Was that like the store manager? My goal is to get under two hundred dollars. <laughs> that would be awesome. It's looking like it's possible. I cannot. <gasps> We're under two hundred. I just can't this believe the that. Like, the shop is like, yeah, you can use all these. Yeah. Under hundred dollars, that would be amazing. Sorry, I can't see. Can it is going to be very, very close. Look how long that receipt is. Oh that. my goodness, she's had run out of paper. Oh, okay, this music's a bit much. Like nobody is panicking. They're making out like drama goes, drama goes. Will she die? A hundred and three dollars. Seventy-two. Okay, not bad. 103.72, I think we did awesome. Thank you. If that was my shop, I would not be clapping. No. Like, you have stole. You've macked me go. I'm never shopping again. Safe way again. Safe way, Beatrice. I'm really ecstatic about the purchase that we just made. Four carts full. I have never Downstairs, had such a successful shopping Ooh. trip. This has been fabulous. After a grueling two-hour checkout, oh, Jamie walks away with a haul that includes 35 cans of soup, 40 boxes of cereal, 90 packages of cold cuts, 100 cups of yogurt, and 150 condiments that came to a grand total of $1,902.63. 150 bottles of condiments. I don't think I ever, I don't think I go through 150 in like 10 years, let alone one shopping spree. Again, it's wasteful. You don't need it. This is, this that is... is 
I knew this show was like bizarre, but the idea that this woman has gone into this shop today, gotten one thousand nine hundred and two dollars worth. Like, that wasn't much for. I mean, maybe there was more things they didn't tell us, but like that wasn't a varied diet. That was that was that was, that was that just was like awful. random hodgepodge of food. It's it's cold cuts like like ham and I and think it's like, like that. yeah like processed meat. But like, that, that like really... goes off, and it's really bad for you. So like th- really bad for you. So she's trying to save money or trying to set a good example for being like uh like money savvy or something this is a waste of money mm. with coupons she paid 103 dollars and 72 cents she got 94 that would not never happen never never you know before a hundred dollars wouldn't even get me a cart full of groceries it wouldn't get me enough for a week's worth of dinners realistically speaking the one thing that I want to question is, mm. obviously, she bought all of those mustards. She bought all of the condiments. All that. You know, she bought. And just looking behind all this stuff. Literally. Like, say she's like hoarding it. She wants like, I want to make sure I've always got full. Day. Yeah. If this product then goes on sale again, is she then going to buy like another forty, or is she going to go? Well, I only need two because I was going to keep mine up at forty. Like, you're going to just keep piling on and on, so you've got like hundreds and hundreds of everything. But how can you afford the space to keep all this in yeah. as well? I don't know. Well, she doesn't. This she doesn't. clearly doesn't live why, in London. That's why the shower. Oh, yeah, the shower is filled with. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, there's a very different thing with like buying like 10 items and being like, I always want to have make sure I've got enough. Yeah. There's 10 there. But like, say she's got 40 bottles of whatever. Is she then only going, well, I'm not going to get above 40? Or is she going to go, well, if it goes on sale again, mm. I'm then going to suddenly buy another 40 and have mm-hmm. 80? I mean, like, I understand being like, let's get three po- like bottles of soap or whatever. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But when you start going like, was that 85 bottles of soap and like 150 condiments? Mm-hmm. Calm down. <laughs> now, $100, that's four cartfuls that include fresh produce. And also, can I say one I didn't thing? Say Sorry. one single piece of fresh produce. Can I see? Mm. So now she ha- does she rotate all this stuff or does she just push it in front of it? Does she have to. The amount of time it will take you to suddenly like, oh, well, I've got to add some more things to this thing. This because thing. we've used one. Yeah, so oh, we have to pull it all forward and put it all behind. Like, yeah. is that what you're doing? Or are you She's just opening her own. Welcome yes. to Morrison's. Even if I had all the money in the world, I would never stop the way that I shop now. Oh, scissoring. My sister would be this pleased. This was <gasps> one of my worst days ever. The day that I had to put a huge shelving system in my bedroom. This is what I get a look at when I go to bed every night. While a lot of extreme couponers keep their stockpile of products in one dedicated room in their home, Tiffany Ivanovsky's stash has grown so massive it has taken over her entire house. See, again, this is, this is when you have a problem. My name is Tiffany. I'm mother to seven kids and me seven and my children. Are about wow. extreme couponing. I have coupons for these, but do you think the 40 boxes we have at home is enough? My yes. children call yes, our home is. the Ivanovsky Mini Mart just because you're going to find all kinds of groceries all over the entire house. There's some sacrifices that you make when you coupon. We have to keep everything everywhere. I kind of feel like sometimes the walls are just closing in on me. See, that doesn't sound There's like no a. Surprise. This doesn't. That doesn't make me think. Oh, this is a, a like a fun thing that she does for gratification. This feels like saying the walls of my own house are closing in on me because yeah. I have stockpiles of products that I've used coupons to get. Sounds like oh, should we get yeah, Nelly this, Galan it, involved? Have yeah. a little chat, shall yeah. we? No, let's not. Space is an issue for Tiffany. With a stockpile on hand of nearly 6,000 food, beauty, and household items, which includes 100 boxes of cereal, Why? 200 bars of soap, and 300 rolls of paper towels. Enough to last this family of nine about three years. It's in my kids' closets. It's in our closet, in our bedroom. This is the thing, like, when you're literally, you're... You're, you're invading you're, your child's space. Your child's space. <laughs> your child needs space up to grow, and, you know, it, it really is important for them to have their own space. When you start literally going, like, well, you're not going to have your wardrobe anymore because I'm going to fill it up with food. Like, Sorry, it's... mummy needs to put her tissues in your wardrobe. How many tissues, mummy? 7,402. For me, it feels like it's promoting a dangerous behaviour to your children that you're like, this has become normal. Yeah, it is very, it's become normalised, isn't it's, it? It's... it's a little bit my strange addiction. Like, you don't need a again a hundred boxes of cereal. Mm. A hundred boxes it's of cereal. It's gonna go off before you get through it. Although she does have seven children, so maybe maybe it's not. Um, it's under my kids' beds. This is where we store our toilet paper under Russ's bed. And Rush is our little brother that is two. My son's got about fourteen hundred rolls of toilet paper under his bed, Why? and he has no idea. This is my children's playroom idea. that we're in right now, and this is where I keep all of my baking things. To Look store her this. supply of almost 700 cans that include soup Looks and like vegetables, paint. it does. Tiffany I was like, a specially designed like shelving scale. unit that automatically rotates the stockpile. Oh my god! That no cans expire on the shelf. I love the fact that they rotate, and so my newest cans go in on top, and my oldest cans are down at the bottom. 
Tiffany knew that having her stock. She has an automatic tin rotator. That is wild. And she even said my expired cans. So she's, she is losing money at some point in this system that she's devised for herself. She's losing her family and herself money because she likes to buy tins that are going to expire. But she's got an automatic tin expiry rotation device. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the ingenuity. If they, if the people on this show applied it to anything else, I'd be so excited. That's an entrepreneur. She could go on, what is it called? Shark's gout and be like, Shark Will you buy this? And they'd be like, I'm investing. Deborah Meaden would sop. I'm out. While take over her whole house was worth it. When she realized how much it cost to educate seven kids. We coupon just because we don't want our kids to have to pay for college and take out student loans. Okay. Since we've been extreme couponing, we've saved close to $40,000. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tiffany. Saving that much money in just two years means she requires extreme couponing to be a family priority. We teach our litter how to coupon. We're raising another generation of couponers. <laughs> So you don't have any free time, you're going to coupon at home because mummy is a bit nuts. <laughs> thousand coupons culled from newspapers, the internet, product packaging, and store displays. The thing is as well, is like, we've had a discussion about this on the Entitled Parents. If you cannot afford your children, don't have more children. Yeah, I'm a firm like, believer I just that. feel like you've got seven children. And like, you can do whatever you want, but like, there are so many kids out there who also need homes. And now you're getting the kids to like, in your free time, children, you can't have fun yeah, We with need your to friends. put you to work make to collect coupons. Sit here and cut out coupons and a... It, I, it makes me really uncomfortable. It is a bit grim, isn't it? Yeah, it makes me really uncomfortable. There's me being like, extreme couponing, the new series. I'm like, oh, maybe I won't. <laughs> Every one she plans on using has to be cut and organized. Hey, Emma, Paige, can you guys come help me? I get anywhere from six to 12 papers. When we're looking for coupons, we usually buy three, six, nine, or 12 papers. They buy on... them. They buy them. So you're buying these coupons. So are you really saving money? Yeah, especially if you're wasting food as well, saying it's going out of date. Like, mm, I feel like there's a few holes in this plan, and I think we feel like people are being a bit enabling. Mm -hmm. How many inserts and how good the coupons are going to be that week? Tucker and Emma, maybe so you, you don't even know. You don't even pizza. know. Pizza. Oh, angel food cake. Once you see the deals that are going on, then. I also want to say, maybe it is different in America, mm. but like when we have coupons here or like anything that's on sale, it's never even that much off. No, it's also, it's, it doesn't really feel like a saving. Yeah, like most of the time when things go on sale, it's actually you get a, a couple pound off or something. Mm. And like when you're bulk buying like this, it doesn't feel like you're actually really saving any money. If you're doing like a two for one, I can sort of understand. I like my little like ravioli parcels. Mm -hmm. And sometimes at Waitrose, they're on two for one. I do shop at Waitrose because it's the only place near me. But it's like, you could never go into somewhere like Waitrose and be like, oh, toothpaste minus 50 cents times a thousand. Yeah, like, like, that just, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. It just doesn't feel like you're actually saving money. No, it feels like you're wasting it. It does, yeah. Um, you can see if you have coupons for them, and that's how you start getting stuff for free. It's not for free, though. You bought the coupons. I think this looks really good, you guys. Okay, we've got our list. We have Gold all of our coupons. Soup. So um, it looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Look at that binder! A CD case binder filled with coupons. But before leaving for a shopping trip, I used to get Pokemon cards, not coupons. For a routine check of their coupon policy just to ensure everything will go according to plan. So what happens I always if it doesn't? check their coupon policies because you might get really comfortable in the store shopping and not realize that there's been a policy change. How come the coupon policies are so different? Excuse me, I will not have that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. It just makes it so hard to do it that way. She discovers a new policy has been enacted and it will limit the number of double coupons she will be able to use on each item. Their coupon policy says that they only double the first of each coupon. We're not used to that. Our store normally doubles and triples three of every coupon. It's unfortunate. It is, but... So they've potentially just got we'll two thirds of their The Ivanovskis are forced to re-strategize the entire trip. In an attempt to achieve as much savings as they are used to, they will each shop for the same items, the but check out separately. Like, this will allow like, them to double twice as many coupons. Does nobody work? Like, <laughs> does nobody like, have to have a full-time job to look after a house that's filled with seven children? Like, I get that they might be dramatizing it a little bit, and maybe yeah. they don't do it as much, but like, it does feel like, like, what are you, like... If they gave us context, like, okay, they've decided to leave their full-time job so that they can understand that they've become coupon people because of family savings or something, that would make sense. Like, the first one, the first lady was told that, you know, the reason why she does this is because the husband lost the job and mm -hmm. she felt like she needed to step in and did anything that she could to keep her family afloat understand that this feels a little bit different like they're now trying to strategize that took both of them are going shopping at different times to get just as many deals mm -hmm. but oh it's a lot girls to combat the store's policy of only doubling one coupon 
Paul and Tiffany are buying the same I items separately I to increase their coupon. savings. We've got great coupons. The cream cheese actually freezes really good, so when we have extra, uh, we can just throw it in the freezer. Uh, how many freezes are you running? Next item on their list is cereal. With a dollar off coupon stacked with a mail-in rebate for the full price of the item, they will earn a dollar for every box they buy. It's actually what? a money maker on the cereal. Oh, it's in honey right here. That would, you could you never use a coupon and get paid. Uh, so could you imagine in the UK going and get, buying cereal and getting money? Our policy was that when you have a coupon, if you do, if you like over, like say you're buying, say you've got like a five pound coupon for something and the item you're buying is like four pounds. Yeah. You will not be given one pound out of the till. No, 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 it's no. It's like once you've used that, 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 you, that's what that voucher is. You would is. never be able to do that so, ever. So I don't quite understand what that was. Did they say that the retail price was four seventy nine, but they have a, a $1 off coupon? But then and also refund the cost of the the original price. Yeah, coupon. so you're using two so, coupons for one thing. So you are yes, yeah, so you're using two coupons for one thing. That, so you've reduced the price of that, and then you get the full retail value back. So you've earned a dollar. They would that, that would cannot be. That would never that happen. Cannot be. That would never happen. I'm never shopping. Maybe I will shop at me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Look, making children behave like this. You get them. Awesome. With three carts loaded to the brim, the Ivanoskis are ready to check out. Since they were forced last minute to revamp their strategy and shop separately, the we're massive savings they have planned on is not a sure thing. What is the heavy metal? That's, 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 I'm just imagining total, maybe 400. So what's funny as well is in the UK, at least again in my shop and in most shops I've known, because I mean, I've got friends who've worked in all different kinds of shops. I've got money. Is what they're doing is still, you wouldn't be allowed to. If you're with two people, like, oh, we're going to pay them separately. If you're still in the same household, I, I still can't yeah. sell you four packets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd so, have to really split everything. You'd have to be like, we're going later in the day and yeah, pretending to be someone else. Because people could be like, oh, just let them do it. It's like, I would get in so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The manager would be like, you cannot do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it is very strange, isn't it? 450. Uh, well, we went over my 400. Like grounding. So. Oh. <laughs> You've got some money on you, right? <laughs> We're way above that 400 you talked about. I'm putting my customer card in right now, and that should give me the store discounts. The customer reward card automatically deducts the value of all the in store coupons from Tiffany's purchase. What? This beat is hateful. <laughs> we're across 275, and now we're just about to cross 250, it looks like. But that's unbelievable. Is she still going? I agree. Go, girl, go. <gasps> no, no. Go in the bin. Don't pay this behavior. And my total is 597. Yay! What? 1%. All right, total savings were $530. That's 98% of your order. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. That's Even though Tiffany has saved 98% on her purchase, complete success is not guaranteed. The store's tough coupon policy may be too much for the less experienced Paul this, to be. This is I'm not a tough you're coupon probably not policy. Save quite a bit as much as I did. Well, I don't have all your tricks, but we'll this see. This is the thing as well. Like they've literally been like, "Oh, we can't do it, so we're going to separate." But they're literally at the same they're at the together. same till at the same time. Absolutely, you would, no, you would never, 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 girls. never, 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 never. Which is kind of why I think it might be a little bit like drama for the TV yeah. girls. <laughs> Due to a sudden change in their store's coupon policy that they they're really having up this oh, sudden, sudden, sudden change, change, change girl, they're all gonna die. To drastically change their shopping strategy. They're just gonna be executed. To increase their savings, they're each buying the same items, but checking out separately. You would, you would no, not allowed. Tiffany has just managed a 98% savings, paying only $5.97 on a $555 bill. Insane. Now, the pressure is on Paul to save as much as Tiffany. It's like, it's like wrestling. Oh, Who's going to win, the girls? Pressure on, it's the pressure on... The pressure. They're together. Yeah. This is, this is also, it, without the music, this is not pressure. We just crossed the $500 mark. They're saying it like it's like in a race. With the a free coupon total he didn't bargain on, but you've Paul just, you've starts just to feel you've the pressure. But you've just said you've got the exact same item. 526 It's a big number. <laughs> A little bit more than I anticipated. I have <laughs> we got the coupons ready. I'm gonna put in my uh, my store card. This is not the correct beat. Here we go. Let's start with those. I would hate these. Guys. Can you well, imagine? I gotta say, I am a little bit nervous. Right, guys. I don't know. It's gonna be close. We're still in the hundreds. We've just crossed the forty dollar mark. Or is that my last one there, Keith? This is your last coupon. 39.05. Looks like we're going to get down to 37.95. I'm the winner. 
Your total savings today was four hundred and seventy five dollars and thirty three cents and ninety one percent savings today. He, just he, just, he didn't get enough to do a calculation. Of I saved ninety one percent. I think oh. we did awesome. Oh, I mean, we did a combined easy. of close to ninety five percent savings for the whole trip, and we are just ecstatic. And the does not get paid enough. To do Even with coupon no, restrictions not. and the last minute change of plan. Yavanovsky's pulled off a haul that includes 10 bucks. Especially in America when they like they have people who pack their shopping for them. That's bonkers. And he's have to pack all these all bags. These bags. Cereal. 14 pounds of steak. <gasps> 15 jars of peanuts. 14 pounds of steak is going to go off. Hot dogs and 40 packages of cheese. A retail value of one thousand one hundred and one dollars. Why do you okay. need forty packets of cheese? I was gonna say we did actually see on the receipts at one point it said green beans. We haven't been told about that. I think they're only telling us about like high price items. But that if you just go on what what was shown there, that is the most unhealthy diet ever. Just having steak and cream cheese yep. every day, not just a little bit. It's like, come on, girls, we need to eat fourteen pounds of steak today. Oh, touch me in the bed. Their cost just forty three dollars and ninety two cents. Wait, is this the end of the show? Good job. Not as good as you, but that's all right. <laughs> I think that this definitely was one of my more extreme trips. Just being able to say that, you know, you saved over $1,000 on groceries in a trip is pretty crazy to me. It we, does feel really good that my doing. kids were able to be there and that we all did this together. We just feel... We all did it together. Like, it's a nice family bonding just activity. I, I bet, I bet, if any of those children go, I'm going to go have one of these boxes of Ritz. No, no, don't. Absolutely beat, slaughtered. Beat, yeah. <laughs> like, it would just be like, no. Don't. Don't touch mommy's crackers. Like, it's just passing it on to them. It's very that. And it we just be. hope that they'll continue to do that for their families. That is, that, no. That's, to that's. This Oh, and there we go. And there we go. And that that was how show she died. must have, yeah. This show must have influenced how people see coupons. All right, my lovelies. We're going to push away my laptop from us there and just kind of like reflect a little bit on what we've seen. Gout. Gout. Let me know if you want me to continue with the series because this is like a very strange yeah. show. I imagine it's probably just going to be more of the same, but unless you know of like drama, like juicy, dramatic things that happen. It just seems like, I, I again, I totally understand. People don't have money and they want to say yeah. things. To me, this this is just it's borderline excessive. excessive and unhealthy. Oh, 150, 150 bottles of condiments. You like, yeah, you, there is no. It, as we keep saying, it's all going to go off before you ever get yeah. to use it. It's it, just it, so it's, strange. It's like, and the idea that the second lady was going to potentially get paid in yeah, coupon yeah, was like yeah, what? Yeah. I'm surprised that they didn't show her like actually getting like money back somehow there because I thought that that's where that was going. Yeah, but alas, it didn't go that way. I'm not sure how I feel about this series. Are you, <laughs> do you have any closing statements? I just, yeah. I, just I just feel like. It's excessive. I I don't think like I I hate greed and I hate selfishness and I just yeah. feel like regardless of what you think about people's families stuff, I just feel like it it's it's just excessive. Absolutely, and I don't think I could have left it on any better than that. Let me know if you want us to continue watching through the series. If you know of any juicy episodes coming up, please let us know in the comments without leaving any spoilers, of course. Yeah. And with that, my loves, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves on the screen right here, girls. And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Aksha, Dorian, Rain, Complete Over Analysis, Grace Palmer, Paula Rivera, and V. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. On. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Gloom Dork. And I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Kelly Loom, Stephanie Niatupski, Laura Alley, Dr. Dreamarella, Orcos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Andy Henry, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Casey Donahue, Celine Yates, Shell Herman, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dana Broderick, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Jared Pavlovsky, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Lane Wade, Min Min Tia, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Steph Utech, Succubus Lena, Traverful, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, Zion. Naza and Paola Rivera. And with that, my loves, we will see you in the next video. Thank bon you voyage. so much, Dyson salesperson. Di thank you, Saki Bye.